this is the smart excel uh, this is the second video for power query and how to append data in the previous video i'll show you how to append data and for the bank accounts they have the current and savings so if you want to see how to append data and here i'm going to do the same thing with come using the codes so this is our the first one which i have done so you can see that uh, here i have these two tables and i have appended it into one sheet and made the data output of this so the here the thing was the debit uh, the description debit uh, d d d so they description debit credit and balance up so there are three d's d d d and here is the same date and the description debit credit and balance up. so these are for the first two quarters now the problem is when i have the third and fourth quarter the banks have changed the format so now they have date description and debit and credit is in the same column now and the account balance so the problem over here is that if i want to do the um, data merge and uh, consolidation it's going to be very difficult because i have to separate this aggregate this into debit and credit so whatever is negative you can see whatever is in the negative form so minus one minus one this is all debit and whatever is in positive 13 and 389 and 400 this all is this is in credit so this is going to be credited to my account and auto negative is going to be debited from my account so this is the two scenarios i have to <clears throat> here i have two debit uh, current and savings account so the problem here is that first of all i have already amended these sheets and i have made a output from this so this is going to be first and second quarter till june but for the second and third and fourth quarter i have to make this a uh, different amendment and then i have to make this into i have to i have to combine all the sheets quarter one uh, first second and third and fourth and that too with savings and current so i have to get a consolidated report so for making analysis or any uh, you have to do what is your categories where you spend going to to take any decision making so okay so let's start with this i'll be starting i'll be <coughs> starting here <coughs> i'll be making this in the table first This will be current. <coughs> current uh, third and fourth. And this will be saving account. So I'll convert into table. And it will be <coughs> say CNF. Sorry. CF. Every third and fourth quarter. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'll be taking these two power queries data and here. First of all, I'll be doing converting this into a date. Add a new step, and it's going to be a date. And the description is now I have to segregate this into debit and credit. First of all, there's AD. If I do decimal the system doesn't add, it gives an error. See if you do this. And it's error because there's a text and numerical orders so i don't want to do that so i can do is i can go and split columns by delimiters and uh, after space uh, to and i can get the desired results so you can see <coughs> ad and memory has been se <coughs> segregated <coughs> so again i have to do the same so let me show you if I want to do this again, if I have to do this for the both, I can't do for the both because it's, it's allowed only one. So I have to select one separate by delimiter advance. Okay. And again, this. So why to waste our energy in doing these two things? So let's play smart. So what I'll be doing is select these two columns. Here I can't do delimiters for this. What I can do is home, I can do replace values. So I'll be doing AED and replace with null. Doing OK. So the, both have been now into uh, both has been transferred into text. Uh, sorry, into a, a numerical value. So what I'll be doing is, if I want, I can do separately. But I'll be going to transform. If you want to do together, go to transform together and make this into a decimal number. So now you can see that the data has been transferred. So make this to make this as a debit and credit. 
what I'll be doing is I have to add a column. I can do it, I cannot do it in condition because I have to add some formulas in that. So I have to go custom column. I'll be doing this as debit. EBIT. The formula will be like if condition if description. So whatever negative, whatever negative should be um, is less than zero is negative. So minus will be the data I want. So if there is less than zero, then debit and credit multiplied by minus one. Else null. So this is the formula. <clears throat> Be very careful in this formula. If debit and credit, so this is the column debit and credit. I double click here. Is greater than is less than zero. This is less than zero. Then it is showing an error here. Then debit and credit again. I click here. Multiplied minus one. So whatever is zero into a minus one, it should become positive. Else null. So this is going to be a debit table. So you can see whatever negative has gone to positive zero, ten, and all. The other things have become null. So this is on positive. So this is my credit account. So it's not debit. So it is going null. But I want to make this into a. I want to change into text uh, into a decimal value. I can have to write the same thing for credit. So what I'll be doing and add the. Again, I'll be doing credit. Debit and credit. Now, before it was uh, less than zero. Now I want greater than zero. Greater than zero. Then, sorry. Then, again, debit and double click here. Should be more. now already it is in positive. Debit in credit. If it is credited, so it will be in positive value. So I don't want to put minus. So I'll be doing multiplying into one. Else, so else, null. This is in credit. So you can see debit and credit. The values have come again. I have to change this into a decimal number. Now I already have those things, so I don't re require this one. So I'll go to remove this. Okay, and I am put. Was going to put this into the end, so I can drag it. Uh, I can drag it in this way, or I can go and right click and put it in the end. So now the data is set here. The date should be in a date column. So this is text, no problem. This is decimal. So be very careful while doing this. Okay. So the the data for current third and fourth semester is ready. Sorry, third and fourth quarter is ready. So so let's uh, let's go to the other one. So I will be doing this is file close and load. I really want to create connections. Okay. I just want. I don't want to uh, add in the table. Just want a connection. In saving also, I have to do the same thing. Now it's already in the table. Uh, is already there. So as we go into bringing this into Power Query, again date. Add a new step. Again the same steps. Continuing. Select this. Replace values. Eb. If you have dollar signs, I don't know how to do that. So it's better. Uh, there might be some option. But in AD, if you have something written, you can make it into zero. Okay, now I'm going to do, do a mistake over here. So be very careful. What is the mistake, and how I will get an error? So I want uh, I want to purposely do a mistake. So now let me write a formula. And debit and credit, I have to change this. So I'm writing this as debit. Debit. And if debit and credit. Is less than zero, then debit and credit is multi uh, multiplied by minus one, else null. Else, <coughs> else null. So now it has come okay. And I'll be do okay. See now I got an error over here. Okay, so I will showing why is that error coming, and again I will be doing this for the other one credit. So credit. If debit and credit 
is greater than zero. Now I write greater than zero. Then in debit and credit will be multiplied by one. So the same account will multiply to be one or else none. Now you can see I don't get the answer. I have got the error. So what is the error? Why did I get the error? Why can't the formula is the same which I have done the same one? You can see the formula for the custom. You can see the same formula. And here also is the same formula. And it's showing no syntax error has been detected. And same is happening here. If you see the formulas. And no syntax error has been detected. But why I'm getting this error? Why is this error coming to me? What have mistake I have done? So the problem is I told you when I did the <coughs> replacing value, I didn't check properly the headers. So he's showing it here as a text. So in the new version, you have to you can check this. But if you have an older 2010, 13, and 16 beginning, there is nothing like this. You have to do everything manually. But at least here you can see this. It's thanks to the new version. So the problem is I didn't convert this into a decimal number and what this is a mistake I have done so I will be converting to decimal number I will be inserting yes uh, if, if I do after this it is not going to uh, let me let me let me do it again suppose if suppose if I am doing this afterwards the error is still there both the errors are because the steps power query will add uh, doesn't understand this the data it is not understanding that so either you can push it over here to the top you can push it in the top or push in the top so you got the answer okay so uh, you can push it uh, manually or if you if you got an error you have to go to this step before doing that change it let me do so simultaneously. Let me do simultaneously. I'm selecting both the columns. I'm going to transform text type as decimal numbers. Yes, insert. Okay, now let's see is the formula successful. Let me minimize this. Debit credit. Yeah, now we don't get the error. Yes, we didn't get it, but we will not. We will not do the. <laughs> okay, I will. I will keep this pending again. I will show you an error. What is going to happen? Okay, now I have got the things on board. So I, I don't require this. I will be removing this, and uh, this one I will be sending into the end. Move to the end. I did the, um, I dragged it, but now I did in a separate way. So <clears throat> okay, so I will be showing you pending it and I'll show you there is one error in this if you can find it out if you found it out it's very good or I will tell you what was the error suppose now I have to add this into this so this is 20 rows and this is 52 rows it really doesn't matter so I'll make a new appendment so I will go to append queries append queries as me two tables if you have three you have to make it here and you have to add it but it's two tables only so so I'll be adding here only current and savings and making it to two. Okay. So let's check the values. Okay, so but the problem is we can't make all which is debit or it's current or saving account. So let's go and add some data over here. So I'll be adding this as a type. Type. Sorry. type. And uh, I'm making this current okay, and this one is on the same <laughs> custom type. Let's see. Let's see, is it there in append? Okay, already there. <clears throat> now, current and saving is segregated. Okay, 
So let me take and make this uh, data into a pivot table. So I'll be taking this close and load. So I don't want to make a table, I'll directly make it into a pivot table report in a new sheet and I'll give OK. Okay. So now we have table. So let's see what are the debit and credits and what is our data. So first of all, account types, current and spring, what is the debits and what is the credits. See, you, show, you can see it's showing count of. It's showing count of debit and credit. Okay, let me change this. I'll go here. I'll select this. Summarize value as. See, it's not highlighting. It's giving sum. It's not showing some, but it's showing what is not highlighting. It's showing only count. <coughs> See now again, there is a bigger. This is the biggest mistake we make. I know I have come across this mistake many times, and uh, after making this simultaneously, then only I came to know that we have to be very, very careful. Now. So it's coming only count. If you go to more options also, whatever you do, it doesn't come. What is the mistake I have done? Why is it coming only? When I summarize, one is when coming count. I want a sum. I don't want count. What is the biggest issue? What mistake I have done? Okay, let's go to the beginning. So the problem here is, I think you guys, all guys guessed it right. Date, it's in a date format, text format, decimal number format, decimal, decimal, or text. Uh, text and number it's okay okay let's see an append see here it is not in the format it is because i didn't change here purposely i kept it pending so that i can show you what was the error we will get so change this into <coughs> decimal value now check this see automatically it has changed here <coughs> automatically it has been changed over here now let's go and refresh the data go to data on refresh all okay now let's check summarize value sum now you can see sum Now you can see some. So this is the mistake I have done. So it's showing negative because the data is not correct. I have just made some here and there negative and positive answers. It's not the right table. Just for the example, I have given that. So this is how we have made a Power Query report out of the table which was in the informal order with debit and credit. So in next sheet, I'm going to show you how to merge these tables how to merge the quarter one quarter two tables along with the uh, sorry quarter three quarter this quarter three quarter four how to merge this with the um, other excel speed which they have this is for the quarter one quarter two mm. so this is for quarter one quarter two so what i'll be doing is i'll be merging all this state and i will be having a consolidated report for 2017 so this is the way we can play with power query and this is the power of power query so I hope you like this video and uh, you could uh, give me some suggestions if you require that how to do that so the power query how to append data i have shown and with this i showed you how to use the combine and using codes and i have shown you some errors also that errors which we use and we have to be very careful and uh, that is the biggest error I, which i have found in my career so how to I have to be very careful in this and even if you are writing the code also so if you don't change it, the error it will show error in your uh, data sheet. So I hope you like this video. If you like this, just hit the bell icon, subscribe to my channel, share this, and uh, uh, please like the hit the like button. And I will be showing in the next video how to merge uh, this data. So happy learning! Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.